Hey, welcome. I'm Dr. Ben Lynch, and I want to introduce you today, right now, to the Dirty Jeans Podcast. I'm excited. I'm actually really excited to do this. It's been something that's been on my plate for a long time. Uh, wanting to do it, just haven't done it because, you know, you get into patterns. So why would I be doing the Dirty Jeans podcast? Well, one, I want to give you a destination and a place where you can come along with me while you're driving, while you're exercising, while you're just lounging around or, you know, whatever, however you want to listen or watch, because that's the goal. And a bit about me, like, who am I? Well, I'm Dr. Ben Lynch, got my undergraduate degree from the University of Washington back in, geez, huh, when was that? 1996, no, 97, I graduated in my cell molecular biology degree, um, which was a bear. And uh, while doing that, I was on the rowing team for the University of Washington. So if you read Boys in the Boat, that was an epic book. And uh I got to meet a lot of those rowers in the 1936 boat. So that was, uh, it was a very special moment actually meeting those guys. And I got my doctorate in naturopathic medicine from Bastyr University in 2007. And I've been studying the why behind things and I've been bringing you along with me ever since. And it got, I got into genetics and MHFR back in 2011. And I did that because I was just researching about bipolar disease and what bipolar was. And I didn't want to just give the run of the mill recommendations anymore. So I quickly typed in bipolar and folate because I knew there was some folate stuff going on. And so I looked it up and PubMed shows that MHFR is related to bipolar. And I didn't know what that was, so started digging, and there it is. So MTGFR was the first gene I ever learned about. And I started a website called mtgfr.net, which became one of the leading online references and resources for this particular genetic issue. And so maybe you found me there. And then I learned quickly, or maybe not so quickly, that there's about 18, 19,000 genes in a human body, which led me to realize that MTHFR doesn't work alone, it works along with other genes, which led me to writing the book Dirty Genes. And Dirty Genes is available wherever books are sold or wherever you can check out books. And it's been, uh, it's been awesome having a resource like that to be able to provide to you where you can sit down on your own time and learn in sequential fashion how to take care of yourself. Because let's face it, you know, right now, you need to learn how to take care of yourself because there's a lot of misinformation out there. And that's actually one of my goals is to quench as much misinformation that is out there and to give you the most accurate, up-to-date information. And if there's something that I don't know, I will tell you I don't know. And if it's something that needs to be solved, I will dig deep and I will look for solutions for you. And part of that digging for solutions led me to creating a genetic test called Stratagene. And I created this so people can have a plan and look visually to see how their genes are functioning. So you basically spit into a tube and send it off to a lab and we come back with a report that shows you not only how your genes are born in terms of being dirty or not dirty, but we also show you how they're influenced through lifestyle, diet, food, the environment, uh, medications, and even supplements. And SeekingHealth.com is a company that I also started back in, God, it's been 10 years now or more um, because I found issues behind supplements and folic acid was in tons of prenatals and I want to get that out of there. And so I designed formulations based upon that. So I've got my fingers in a lot of things because I'm passionate about a lot of things and taking you on this journey with me on the Dirty Jeans podcast is going to be a lot of fun. And that's what it's going to be. It's going to be a journey. And this is not going to be a podcast where I'm interviewing quote unquote experts every week or every month and just distilling their, you know, pearls for you. What it's going to be more is, yes, I'll bring, bring on experts that I feel that are really important to bring on to share with you their unique insights. 
But I also want to share with you my own family, what it takes to uh, clean your genes. And if you do have dirty genes, which we all do, then how I handle that in my own home with my kids. In fact, I'm dealing with uh, sicknesses in my home right now. And I've already asked my uh, boys if I can do a podcast with them sharing their experiences about how they got sick, why they got sick, and how they were recovering as we still are. So there's going to be discussions about how my family uh, supports our, our, ourselves and what I do for them and what I do for myself. Um, I'm tell you right now, I am not a perfect specimen when it comes to making choices that are perfect all the time. Look, I wrote the book called Dirty Genes. It's not perfect genes. I, I'm not a stickler for going to bed at every single night on the same, same time. I'm not a stickler for eating organically 100% of the time or breathing fresh air 100% of the time. These are, you know, pipe dreams. I, I would love to, but the amount of stress that goes into that far exceeds the ability to make that goal. And I, I don't want to go through the stress of that. So I'm going to share, you, share with you how I do those things. Plus, I'm going to be sharing what I call snippets, pun intended. Yes, you probably caught that. So snippets are basically shorter form uh, podcasts where I'm going to dive in for probably 10, 15, max 20 minutes on a very specific topic, like how do I get folic acid out of my body? Like what is methyl trapping or what is overmethylation or I'm pregnant and why shouldn't I take folic acid? I thought I'm supposed to. So these are the type of questions I'm going to be answering. And if you've had stories that, you know, success stories that you've had <clears throat> over the over the past year, few years of possibly you've read my book or you've been taking some of the supplements from Seeing Health and I've or I've helped you in some way, maybe you read an article, um, you know, however I've helped you and it's really transformed you. I'd love to hear your story and I'd love to see if you're wanting to jump on the show with me where I interview you and that and I hear from you what your journey was and how you succeeded and how my information guided you. Because look, I'm not the hero here. You are. You're the one who's sitting down and putting in the work. I'm just the one who's providing you the information, which hopefully is guiding you in the right direction. And that's what all the, everything that I do. I provide tools to help you optimize your life. So with Seeking Health via supplementation, with strategy and via genetic testing, with my book for an ongoing resource, and now with this podcast to, you know, expect this Dirty Genes podcast to be informative, expect it to be fun, expect it to be engaging, and expect it to be a bit random, like me. Um, yes, I'm a science geek. Yes, I'm a nerd. I do have a sense of humor uh, <laughs> oh, when I'm relaxed. Um, I am pretty much an introvert. You're going to also hear from me about things that I use. And yes, there's going to be some times where I plug a product and there's going to be, uh, well, either I own the company behind it um, or there's a commission uh, based upon that recommendation because yes, I'm an affiliate behind some of them. But I want you to know that when I make a recommendation, I use the product. I use it. I've personally use it or I have used it and I find great success from it. I get reached not so much anymore um, because I think word got out that Dr. Lynch is hardcore in terms of getting approvals um, about mentioning products. But there will be times where I mention products that I feel are very useful. So for example, I've got my Blue Blocks glasses over here, which I have started using and my whole family's got them. Even if it's not a seeking health supplement, if I find a supplement that's useful, I'll recommend it. So the products I'm using are important. Also, I want to share with you about my home, um, how I built my home, what I, materials I've chosen, uh, why I've chosen them, and environmental medicine is one of my specialties as well. And so environmental medicine is one of those things that is an ongoing, and I'm, it's not very fun to learn how toxic the world is but at the same time, it's a necessity. And so you need to know things like that. And you need to know which air purifiers are useful. You need to know what materials you're bringing into your home to see if they're off-gassing. 
You need to learn that if you're in traffic to have your windows up and the air recycling button is on in your car so you're not sucking in carbon monoxide and petroleum products into your lungs, which gets into your blood, which gets into your brain, which gives you headaches and irritability and insomnia. And then you wonder why you need caffeine in the middle of the day. Well, maybe you're stuck in traffic breathing in petrochemicals. It's that simple. So I want to give you practical tidbits and information where you don't always have to swallow a pill. And I really want actually to teach you or guide you on things where instead of thinking, what supplement should I take or what thing do I need to buy, switch that mindset to what action do I need to take or what did I do which caused this feeling in me so I can eliminate that. So if you've read the book, Dirty Genes, you probably saw that for over 200 pages, I was informing you, please don't take a supplement. I want you finding your baseline. Who are you? What makes you tick? What makes you blow up? And if you are taking supplement after supplement, that is really affecting your biochemistry in a way that you do not really know who you are. And so you have to clean up your genes without the utilization of supplementation by cleaning up your environment, you might not even need that many supplements. So if you've got a story that you want to share with us, email podcast at dirtygenes.com to share with me whatever you'd like to share. Um, let's say a success story, or maybe you tried something and it really backfired. You know, maybe you ordered strategy and you got the results that you didn't expect or they clashed with other recommendations and or you read Dirty Jeans and you hated it. Um, hey, share that too. I'm, I'm all for it. And, you know, if you took a specific supplement and it really backfired on you, I want to know that too. So that's what I want you to think about when you're emailing podcast at Dirty Jeans. I want you to think about, will my story help a lot of other people? because that's the ultimate goal of the Dirty Jeans podcast. So thanks for listening. And I look forward to keep going on this journey with you. And we're just starting. We got a lot to uncover. See you next time.